Hi, this is Marcia, and this is part four of the Blended Learning Coaching Blocks. Today, we're going to be talking about relevant studios. In part one, we talked about reflective planning, how to look backwards to see where we can add in studios. Then we talked about being consistent, making sure studios are appearing at least once a week. Then we talked about how do you really use data to drive that instruction and to small group instruction for sure, and how to really push our students to that next level with even data meetings. Now we're going into relevant studios, and this one has been hitting home hard this year. Teachers are going through the process of deploying studios and they're setting it up. They have studio activities, but it's not always relevant. So one of the things that we really need to do when we're looking at relevant studios is to think about what is our learning target? What is it that the students really need to know? And from there, we build out the studios. We're going to then start with our small group, planning our small group first. What will we cover? What will they do? How are we going to differentiate? If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to part three where we talk about using data. And I walk you through how to set up your small groups using the learning targets. From the small groups, we need to make sure that our independent practice is tied to the learning target. Then we want to make sure that digital content is tied to the learning target. And those hands-on activities are tied to the learning targets. That way, when the students are working in the other studios, it's all interconnected. Why? Because they're going to be learning the content and through auditory, visual, kinesthetic, tactile, and so many other learning styles when they are doing the studios. Also, it's making sure that that learning target is being taught or revisited at least four different times in one class period. Relevant studios. When we're designing our relevant studios, we want to make sure that we are really connecting it to a real world setting. How do I make sure that if I'm learning this, it's going to be making sense in another situation? When you're planning your studios, make sure you have time for the students to have conversations. Let them talk through the process from maybe sharing out a poem that they wrote or showing how they solved the problem or talking about predictions that they have within a lab. Anything you can have students talking is going to really connect that content. Choice. Giving student choice is going to increase the relevancy of that studio because they get the opportunity to choose what they want to do. And differentiation. Differentiation can occur in every single studio, not just a small group, but in independent practice. It's not giving more or less work but it's maybe giving them a chance to pick what level problem they want to do. From bag A, those are the easy questions. Bag B are medium questions. Bag C are challenge questions. When the students go to independent practice, they get to choose three problems they want to work on. Do they want to challenge themselves or do they just want to get going with on level, see if they can answer those, then move up. By setting up differentiated learning studios, we really increase the relevancy and student engagement. Next, think about student interest. When you are designing the Future Ready Studios, maybe you leave it open-ended to have the students explain how would polynomials work in a game of soccer? Or how would polynomials work in when you're going grocery shopping or going clothes shopping? When you allow the students to tie in their interests, it then instantly increases the relevancy, student engagement, and ownership. Next, think about those hands-on learning opportunities. Anything you can do where the students are actually creating, collaborating, communicating, building, designing, is really going to make the content more relevant for them. They're going to remember it longer and it's going to really hone in on their skills and their interests. All of, these, all of these different techniques can be found on the website down below and it gives you even more descriptions about how you can actually tie in more relevant activities into any lesson. All right, this was part four, Relevant Studios.